he told me a story yep. that uh, that he was sitting with you backstage and that he and you witnessed uh, Kurt Henning cutting up Jacques Rougeau's pants. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Kurt did a lot of things. <laughs> And the Bulldogs did a lot of things, too, you know. Yeah. And Kurt was a massive ripper, you know. I mean, he'd go down to the, uh, he'd go down to the um, pet store and he'd buy a bunch of uh, mouse or rat embryos that they feed to the snakes. You know what I'm saying? A little yeah. sack of them, just awful things. Awful looking science fiction horror stuff that you'd make a Stephen King movie. Out. He'd find some money, take them, put them down their pockets, <laughs> put them in their socks, or put them in the bottom of their shoes. It's just awful stuff, you know. Yeah, Kurt would do some. Kurt was a rib. He was a rib a maniac. He would have probably, he would have probably fell into the um, Calgary Stampede, uh, you know, rib Hall of Fame somewhere. No, he could have. <laughs> Billy was not around for the, the fight between the Bulldogs and the Rougeos, basically when Jacques attacked him. Were you at that tape? I was there. Didn't, didn't see it at the moment. I'd seen it sometime after, the, after it had happened. And one of those kind of things, you know, where Dynamite, you know, just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it always like he did. Just, just you know, Dynamite, you know. And I knew Dynamite a little bit and uh, Davey Boyd from Calgary when I was there, mainly Davey Boyd. Dynamite was already doing something else in Japan or something. But anyway, before I came to this company, you know. And, uh, but that, but that tape, there was some heat between the Rougeaus and those guys. And Dynamite was kind of bullying. Bullying, you bullying Jacques, you know. And you do Raymond, he'd smack one. You just, you don't do that stuff, man, you know. Cause you know, I gotta tell you, in these dressing rooms where I was at, everybody in there would stand up. Ain't nobody gonna lay down. I mean, it don't matter who you are, somebody's gonna get something on you. Somebody's gonna get an ear, somebody's gonna get an eye, somebody's gonna get, there ain't, there ain't no lay downs in the, my, the dressing room I was in. Right. Well, the guys we had, there wasn't none of that going on. I mean, even guys that didn't do stuff like that, they weren't tough guys, you still ain't gonna push them off. But him doing that, I mean, they do stuff like they get Danny Spivey, he'd buy cigarettes, they'd get his cigarettes and spray paint them yellow. They'd take his boots that he'd spray his boots with, his Hulk Hogan yellow looking boots, Spivey, and they'd spray paint them yellow and put them back into things, and they knew how to get into his Halliburton. <laughs> they could break into safes and stuff, whatever. But I'd seen Dynamite shortly after that with the tooth missing, you know, when when uh, when Jacques or Raymond, whichever one, but I would him. But he walked around that corner, man, and Bob, they let him have it, man. No. And Dynamite being salty, he just spit up to, oh, okay, I'll do what I want to. All these don't matter to me. We all fly you. That's why he talk like that. He spit the tooth out, and he just kept it, kept it like it, just smiled like it was the greatest thing ever. Never even got it fixed. Never even wanted to get it fixed, didn't care. I guess it was some kind of badge of honor or something, you know.